this morning and on the radio 10 to 11 a.m. Well, it's morning and sing they've got a morning show Every day I listen in we're going to talk about what's going on in town. You never know who's going Good morning, to Montgomery County and all everybody else that can hear us in Washington. We have a listener in Washington, Sue. and uh, Sue with their apples. Yes. I and, love Sue. And uh, we have just people that don't even let us know they're listening. Those really? Those ones that just I won't I think most of them, it. Cindy. Most of them don't. I wanted to say, you know when she sent those apples? Mm-hmm. What kind of were they? Uh, Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp. So I'm sitting there at a restaurant, and they go, what would you like your side to be? And I go, oh, I get a choice? What are my choices? And one of them was a Honeycrisp apple. Wow. And I flipped, and I go, that right there. Give yeah. it to me. Give, give me that one. She, like, she looked at me. That's... and was like, oh, you really like Honeycrisp? Like, no, nope, only had it once, and it was really good. <laughs> Those are amazing. Sheesh. Sue, we love you. By the way, speaking of... Uh, Loving people. Exactly. No. It's a beautiful day out the there. I feel like going and out. dancing in the street. The and... sun will come out. No, it's out today. And, uh, uh, but it's great. It's great. Plus... Uh, uh, this is something we're here special. It's uh, uh, March the sixth, with the which is the day the Alamo fell, and I ask myself, Mark. I call myself Mark. <laughs> Who should we have on the show on the day the Alamo fell? And I was thinking uh, oh. J.J. Kakadal. J.J. Kakadal the, came the, right the, to my mind. It was, it's, oh, by the way, uh, we're, I'm going to introduce her later, but she's uh, she's here listening. Many things. She Cruise may leave planners, before. Uh, and uh, anyway, I got her here because Kay and I are thinking of going on a trip in five years. And uh, you think J.J. You're gonna, you think knows you're get a everything price, there huh? is about this. <laughs> anyway, I, I'll, I'll tell you more Mark. about her. Exactly. They only have one five my, years. That's one of my <laughs> questions. i got to write that down about packing. I, I hear uh, I'm not even going to talk about it. But, Cindy, today uh, we've yeah. got uh, so many uh, super things besides the Alamo. And here's a good thing that you're – today, I don't know the year. Well, I know the year today is 2014. Thank I know you. that. But this is the anniversary of the first day Oreo cookies were sold. And I don't know the year. It I'm doesn't matter. It 1893. doesn't matter. 1893. But no, it's probably As long as they're something. here, it doesn't matter when what they got here. a wonderful day. If you think God doesn't love you, Cindy, think of Oreo cookie day. It's true. That'll it is so Amen. true. That's right. And and if they weren't meant to be eaten, they wouldn't have been invented, right? That's so, true. Yeah, I'll, that's what I think about that's it. The that's the way. That's how I do it. How do they come up with that National Oreo Day? How do they come up with that? I, I don't know. There ought to be a National Oreo Year. In fact, there may be. <laughs> There's, there's if you ever had the Hydrox, this is day. important, folks, or yeah. I wouldn't even be mentioning it. The Hydrox cookies? Hydrox. Had one once. Oh, yeah. They, they look measure. just like Oreos almost, except they don't say Oreo on them. They, they say, wanted to, but boy, I don't Hydrox? know. When I was a kid, like, it was really bad, cut? but they're probably not. I, but, Cindy, weird. before we get into uh, anything else, yeah. food. I was reading the ticket today in the uh, Courier. I almost said uh, the Houston Brad Courier. Go? Where Brad to went to a place, and I don't know if you're familiar with it, because I wasn't. El Tri, El Tri, T-R-I, I think the I is an E in Spanish. It's a Mexican restaurant, if you can believe that. El, a that's Mexican the name? restaurant? El Tri, Tri? Yeah, it means three, I think. Tre, no, Trace is three, T-R-E-S. Yeah. I don't know what it means. Uh, hmm. But anyway, and he said it's in Wood Creek Shopping Center, and I'm not familiar. You know Wood Creek Shopping Center. Um, 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 callers, call in and let us know. Give me a where store in it. I, I, I never I don't look know. at the That's sign the driving in. I just know the stores know. that are there, but yeah. I don't know. Or what's Wood across Creek. the street? Tell me what's across the street. Anyway, okay. and he really didn't care for it much, but you need to read that. Uh, oh, he didn't review. like it? That's so sad. You know, sad. he said one thing, and once again, you need to read this. He, he said it's 7 o'clock at in the evening which that's way too late for me to eat mm-hmm. but uh he said he went in and he they were the only ones there and the waitress come up came up and he ordered fajitas and she hadn't heard of them <gasps> and, uh, she said i don't think they're on the menu and wow. he couldn't find them on the menu. but other than that i he said the prices were reasonable and that's, that's so really i can see good. brad Meyer doing on. doing the so, well do you have tortillas yes we have to Oh. Do you have Do you some have some meat? meat? Put yeah. those together and give me. Hey, so together. they weren't on the menu. He said he couldn't find them, and she didn't know what they were. So, uh, Brad. Fajitas. Well, I mean, on the personal scale, it's kind of upsetting that you live in Texas and you know what fajitas are. But right. then, but maybe she's so restaurant. focused on, on what's Brad. on the menu, and if it's not on the menu, it doesn't exist. Yeah, she I, she might have had trouble with the language and uh, was very nervous, and she's probably new. Okay, that's even more troubling. But I sympathize with the uh, wait, wait she staff. Was, she didn't that's have sad. Yeah, you but sympathize. That's with That's almost as bad yeah. as LeBron. Well, because you know Brad, because that's why. 
you sympathize with them. I'm sorry. They're, they're There's so much in. construction going on. They're moving in next door. Uh, Ooh, speaking of food. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, speaking of food, I, I just got this from the right, coffee, coffee, Conroe sure. Coffee. Yeah. Their breakfast sandwich, croissant. It looks la delicious, la la It's so good. And um, and I, I picked up a map that Richard, uh, it's all, you did it. No, I didn't do it. I didn't draw it. Joe called. Drew you know, it. I and just. The, and this, the people in downtown Conroe. I just helped put it. I helped put it together. I was, I was together. an assistant. I was, yeah. You were just assisting. You're so modest, it's beautiful. Richard. I was going to give you all the credit, but this map is so cool, nice. and you can JJ, get this map right, free right at there. Conroe right. Coffee. Nice. Yeah, and then you can tell where we are because we're right next door to Conroe Coffee. Is that enough plug for her? Okay, that's, that's pretty good. And come okay. by and look at our banner. Don't look at us in here, but look at our banner. And our new there. banner. Did you? That, that banner is. That's so my cool. new game now. What is I, I look at the faces of people reacting to your banner. Your banner. Okay. So <laughs> in an average, uh, what would you say? Well, what's most funny of the faces is you're are... on the left side, right? Or they're right, yeah. and and Mark's on on our right. But I can tell which one they're looking Thank at. Thank you. And, oh yeah, I don't understand that. And they're, well, they're like, oh, who's this guy? And then they look at Cindy, they're like, mm. oh, I'm sure, oh. I'm so sure. Yeah. Thank you, Richard. They, <laughs> do, they do this. Mm. I don't have to pay him yeah, too much for that. That is. <laughs> Wait, they're checking out Mark, though. Who's, who's they're the checking girl? Out. So, hey, Kay, if you're listening, you better watch it. Oh, yeah. 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 See, it Kay looks is. like, it looks like uh, either Mark is checking out the font style of the printing in the middle, or he's looking at me. I, I just can't tell. And I'm looking like, oh, yeah. Mark, style. Yeah, I'm looking at the, style. Uh, the, yeah, <laughs> the font style. The font style. Listen, speaking of, of uh, food that we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. uh, did you know... That there's a new app out, but you can't purchase it. You can only win it. It's uh, they've got a contest to win it, and it they is. They must be making a fortune. It 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 is. It's uh, it's called Wake Up with Bacon, and you uh, set your time. Well, the time I've heard of that. comes on. You know, I mean, the alarm goes off, and it, the alarm sound is bacon frying. Oh my word! Shh. Yeah. That's the exactly smell it. that emits from your phone is bacon smell. Wow. I didn't know a phone could emit a smell. That opens up all kinds of things that I don't even want to think about. That's I scary. know. You put that in a movie <laughs> so house. Scary. I don't Man. know. So um, anyway, but you have to win it right now. It's not up for oh, yeah. you know to download right now. You have to win it. So if you want to know how to do that, then go on and Google uh, wake up with bacon yeah. but how it's, do you how do you keep your dog from eating the phone the oh phone. my that's word. a good point I, see this that's a this, good point jj oh, thinks man. of everything JJ. you know it's a little known fact that you know if you put a conch shell to your uh, ear you hear the ocean that everybody knows that but most right. people don't realize if you put a oyster shell to your ear you hear bacon frying it is wow you know mark stanford university if uh, I Google 1986 that? they did a survey <laughs> I Google about that. that. What about the poor people that dug up? What about up, the children, Cindy? No, not the children. We're not worried no. about the children now. But dug up fifteen hundred, almost fifteen hundred, pure gold coins in their backyard. Ooh, yeah. And is, and now the, the government took the, it. No, the government is trying to find out if it was part of a San Francisco heist in uh, nineteen oh one. And uh, it's the, not going to be good. Uh, no. Why do you report not, that? If you really honestly found a hundred gold <laughs> coins. <laughs> I would immediately it has melt to it down. Do with money laundering. Melt it. Uh, you can't. It's hard to do. No, but it just money they're uh, they're trying to find out. If these were the the coins, but they were only worth thirty thousand dollars when the guy stole them. That was oh, all wow. that that yeah. coin uh, that uh, that gold was worth. And now it's like ten million or billion. Yeah. Nobody, no, it's, it's not ten billion. Yeah. It's ten, not 10 million. million. I can tell you that right now. It's not it's what? like million. Ten billion. Yeah, That's ten not. million. And actually, the coin yeah, itself That's is, it. if you melt it down, it's just gold. But with the coin, it is uh, what you call your uh, yeah, but uh, collectors. But what will item. happen right. is somebody will claim it's like, oh, that was this bank, and this bank was bought by this bank, and then they're going to claim that's yeah. their money. So there's gonna, no question. They're the lawyers will be there. But what you do is you do like what the mafia thing. does when they find stuff off of fallen trucks is they give them as gifts. So you have gold to give as gifts for people. So you can make little jewelry and be like, oh, you, <laughs> this is my daughter-in-law. She hates me. Here's a gold ring. You're going to like well, me now. Well, my the mafia sister, has my never been that nice to me. is a CPA, and she has stories of doctors who have melted their gold down and uh, they have gold faucets. They have a gold faucets on their bathtub because they've melted the gold down. And uh, she's not naming any names, but uh, she says that happens uh, today. Wow. So they... That way they keep from having to... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, and you know, I they don't understand. It. They say a person for laundering money, they set up a uh, uh, false store. What do they call it? It's got a Front, name. Storefront? Uh, Storefront. Store 
I don't think so. You're anyway, right, it's right. something like that uh, where they, oh, it's a roller rink or something, but they don't make money. They lose it. Right. And somehow Just or other so they that have helps. a legitimate, a little legitimate. Uh, so so they, they make false sales and basically they put that, that false sale that actually brings in be. money. And then that money that is reported as the fault. Yeah, no, that's how. That's why I'm not smart enough to steal money. I don't think it would be money laundering by melting it down. I don't think mm. that's money laundering. No, no, no. That's not money laundering. Okay. But what I'm saying is if they don't, if they just end up with this gold, how do they explain this new house they built or, and all? I don't know. Mm. Uh, you'd be smart you, about it? They take the faucets with them, I can tell you that. What? You'd be smart about it. Oh, you'd be smart. See, yeah. I had. That is. So I, simple. He's a so simple, Mark. I know. By the way, we are going to cut to a break in just a second, but I wanted to mention this to both of you. It's something that uh, I read a couple of days ago, and it came up again in Dear Abby. J.J., I don't know if you're a follower of a... Uh, No. This lady, lady, wrote in and said, "Uh, Dear Abby, I read the obituaries every morning. It's one of the first things I do. And if I don't recognize anyone there, I actually feel sad. Is that bad? What? uh, Yeah. Like, oh, I want to, I don't know anybody in the obituaries. And, of course, uh, what's her name? Dear Abby said, well, yes, that's bad. What are you? Some kind of, but then today people, other ladies wrote in and said, no, that's what I do. I look at it. I don't know anybody. And they say, this is what we do. And I, it gives me a chance to write a card to the uh, family and all. And uh, I just don't know about that. Do y'all feel sad when you see? Uh, see, my grandmother would, would uh read the obituary mm-hmm. and and my grandfather did too they would open it up and i'd walk in and go what are you reading and they said the obituary and to see if we know anybody that's died mm-hmm. and i went oh that is so weird that's creepy and i said well no because then we'll know and we'll be able to send them just like send them yeah. a card and stuff so that's why i would say so if you open the paper and you don't see your name in the obit then you're mm-hmm. gonna have a good day it's your day so because people do that it's just it is strange it is. well i do too i look at the obituaries didn't used to you're right and I now think the I'm older we Dear get, Abby's. the more we Dear Abby, look at the obits. <laughs> so there's the barometer right there. When I we come, come back. That, that's weird, guys. That is I'm weird. sorry. You're, yeah. looking, you're looking out for death. Is that yeah. what you're, you're doing? You're a child. And you're especially if you wake kid. up and do that, it's the first thing you do when you wake up. Yeah. Let me Start check your the obits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, happy Who's note. Yeah. Well, when you have, I guess Here's your newspaper. Okay, page eight. When you're not on there, then that's that good. good. Make sure that's well, right. That's well, I feel well. like if I was Dear Abby, I'd be like, you need to put your time into something more positive. Like, say you wake up and you want to write somebody, why don't you get a pen pal from jail that's and another, write them? See, that that's makes, right. One, yeah. While they're alive, give them those roses while they're alive. Or write some yeah. of the children. Ladies and yes, gentlemen, when true. we come back, we're going to have one of the most fascinating discussions Fun. for me. I don't know what it's going to be to you, but uh, this uh, young lady here, JJ, is uh, uh, Kuykendall, is one of the... Uh, most knowledgeable of uh, having fun on vacation stuff and all. And uh, anyway, we need to get information from her in just a second. Back in a little bit. Don't you recognize silent. the song that's on there? The Tune in to Montgomery County Live every Sunday at 6 p.m. here on Lone Star Internet Radio, where we will be featuring artists' live performances at local venues around the Montgomery County area. Check out IRLoneStar.com for the Montgomery County Live lineup. If you want to be part of one of our recordings, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for upcoming concerts. Lone Star Internet Radio is dedicated to serving Montgomery County. Since the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo awarded its first scholarship, we have sent nearly 15,000 students to college on show scholarships. Just this year, 2,000 students are attending more than 100 Texas colleges and universities on show scholarships worth nearly $30 million. Combined with the junior market auction money, livestock and horse show premiums and prizes, cat scramble awards, school art auction money, judging contest prizes, grants to universities, and funds to cultural, community, and civic organizations, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo has committed more than $350 million to youth and education throughout Texas. Learn more at RodeoHouston.com. Lone Star Internet Radio is now bringing you the weekly business hour show each Monday morning at 11 a.m. My name is Rick Schistler and I will be your host. Each week we will be bringing you local, area and national business news that you can use. 
The program will also feature an interview with a local or national business person who will share their own experiences, successes, and failures in operating their businesses. Our show is for anyone who already owns a business, whether they work solo or have employees, and for those who are thinking about starting their own businesses. A bit of information about myself. Again, my name is Rick Schisler, and I am a Silver Fox advisor who has over 40 years experience as a serial entrepreneur. As a part of our show, I will offer some advice and encouragement on our monthly topic, and I will take your questions by email at rschisler at silverfox.org or call into the station at 936-647-3776. See you on the radio Monday at 11 a.m. for the weekly business hour. The ship set ground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle With Gilligan, the skipper too A millionaire and his wife You know, Cindy, I never watched Gilligan's Island really? all the way through. Uh, it was um, just down there, but I, I, they had reruns on the other day, and I looked, and there is the uh, uh, the scientist, what's his name, the professor? Professor. He's got a whole chem lab right there. Like he mm-hmm. went on a three-day cure, a uh, cure, <laughs> tour. And he had the whole, uh, uh, anyway, the well, uh, think of the dresses. All it took oh, me a while as a kid going well. Where'd you get that dress? I don't. Yeah, that show wouldn't fly today. I don't think Mm-mm. it was true. I really don't. But Port Gilligan anyway, and Skipper wore the same, same outfit, outfit they every did. day. But everyone you know, else, yeah, everyone else had not Ginger. What no, they had the suitcase. They had the, the, oh, the yeah. rich Kim couple had all yes, their clothes. Yes, they so had the, their, that explains yeah. that. Thurston the third or something. Thurston. But forget Why, that. Yeah, we're trying to find don't reason. Don't completely and get right, forget right, it because right. the uh, tune is uh, uh, in recognition of our guest today, J.J. Uh, Kuykendall, who is a um, <laughs> owner of, uh, it's a franchise, but she owns the uh, franchise around here, Cruise Planners American Express. She's owned it since 2004 and... Uh, Cindy and I know her. She goes to uh, Gray's Crossing, and that's known where her I've forever. Def- known her mm-hmm. forever. Yeah. And they go on cruises, and Kay and I haven't been able to do it yet, but we're hoping to do it. And uh, it's always J.J. Uh, plans it and all, and she does so many other things. She is, by the way, you're a, a native, I think, of uh, uh, Jefferson. Did I make that Jefferson, up? Jefferson, Texas. Oh, no, what a I lovely place. Jefferson? Yeah. Jefferson. Lake of the Pines. Uh, is that where Jared Starrett is from? Yes. She knows Jared. Is. She must. I think it's Jer- yeah, where he's Jared's a young. Jared. He's a guy that sings our theme song. Yeah, he's oh, one yeah. that sings our. Yeah. Oh. And listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Top I'm sorry. producer, <laughs> top producer with Cruise Planners for the past seven years. Million dollar producer, 2012 and 2013. That means she does a really good job. And also, just uh, of another note, she is the uh, uh, the woman behind the man of uh, Mayor of Oak Ridge uh, is Jim Kakendall. Yes. We also know, and she is his wife and. Uh, did you steer him into politics? Is that how he got uh, it? No, he's always been the out in the community and involved and wanting to make a difference. And so I said, "Go for it, honey. You can do it." City, uh, he'll keep you out of the house. Nobody, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody will hear this or anything. But uh, do you think he enjoys being the mayor now, or now that he's the mayor? Do you think? Uh, oh, I think he he does. He really uh, good answer. He really Great does. Answer. Yes, yes, yes. No, and, he does. Yeah, and he did, and he just got reelected because he was he ran unopposed. Wow. So he's well, got another two years because term. he came. Mm-hmm. Didn't he come in and he was just supposed to be there temporarily? He wasn't. He wasn't yeah. planning on or they. Yes, he was appointed. Is appointed. Yes. yes, he was appointed, and then to finish he was, a term. Yes, from the previous elected. mayor. Yes, mm-hmm. and then he was elected, and now he's reelected. You want Jim Cockendall on your side? Yeah, he's a good he guy. Is, he is good. Yeah, guy. he is yeah. good. good. I've, 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 you know, thirty six years we've been married, so wow. I'm not going to it's a battle, house break another one. No, that's for no, sure. Don't do oh, that. that is but such a good. Point. Speaking of house breaking, has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with this. Uh, how did you get into this cruise planning business? Might I ask what? What possessed you? Uh, I was possessed for sure. Oh. But when we went on, we went with a bunch of friends from church, and I was the group leader, and we were going on our first cruise many years ago, and and uh, and so I kind of organized everything. I like putting people together and organizing and planning and getting everybody excited about going on a trip, and and we took our first cruise as a group, and uh, it was so much fun. And then I was like, you know, this might be my calling mm-hmm. this could be a fun and exciting i get paid for it yeah i get paid for it and i get to help people yeah. realize their dreams and that's sort of a very cool thing and uh 
Well, JJ, you had all that training at church by mm-hmm. organizing and putting together and calling people, making sure they were where they're supposed to be through all the women ministries functions and, mm-hmm. and events, right? So, right, right, and, right. And, you're, and she's, oops, sorry, that was my droid. Oh, um, start collecting money every time that happens. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you need to put a jar right yeah, there. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, but you did, you know, you're the one that is the go-to person for making things happen. So oh. you have that rep, and mm-hmm. so now, uh, now you're doing this, and you're getting paid for it. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it, it. They always say that if you don't, you know, if you love your job enough, you would do it for free. And I, I would do it for free, but not really. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm used to the pay now, so. Um, that yes, you know. that's what uh, Mark I appreciate, and I say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I certainly understand that. <laughs> I appreciate honesty yeah, right, right. and somebody. I wouldn't do this okay, for okay. nothing. But, oh. but speaking of pay, though, I do, you know, a lot of people think that travel agents um, mark things up and have to, you know, that's how we make our money. But in reality, we are partnerships with the vendors and the cruise lines and all that, and they pay me a commission for taking care of you. And oh, okay. so I don't add any fees. So I, I work literally for you for free. That is, and, you know, so. for me, I do not like to figure out plans and stuff i can get on the internet and go all over things but i really like to do so i don't care if it's uh, construction on my house or whatever i just like to get somebody do this for me would you uh, jj we want to go somewhere where it's sunshiny and <laughs> it's uh, neat and uh you know you get a bunch of options there that's the way i fly and we haven't gone much but you know with this way you can get a breakdown of cost and all and see if all it's right. uh, what's in your ballpark see if let it's me ask doable. you this mm-hmm. do you just do cruises or can i say hey i want to go to uh british columbia could you tell me sure give me yeah. some information? um i do all sorts of travel i'm a full service travel agent so not only do i do cruises but i do like That's all-inclusive good. vacations um disney vacations vegas vacations um ski Wow. Can uh, we believe what they say? So, uh, um, African safaris. I mean, oh, African oh, safaris. Love that. Yes. yes. Yeah. But now, can we believe on TV when we see uh, four nights for two hundred dollars at this mm-hmm. Disney resort? They they have this fabulous price for for something. Can we believe that, or we need to call someone like you to verify that or make sure that what we're getting is the right? Well, if it's deal? if the commercial you're seeing is from Disney themselves they mm-hmm. always have specials and things like that so um i can don't... pass those savings along to you right. but and... but there's always restrictions you know there's always the small print that says you know it must be booked by a certain day or you have a certain travel day that you have to go between this day and this day you have it doesn't include air and things you know, like ten, that so yeah, 10 toes yeah yeah, yeah. With one that's webbed and yeah. th- that kind of thing i you really read the fine print on things like that big mm-hmm. of of those but you can take take advantage of those really good specials if you are able to go during that time that they say they're trying to fill yeah, yeah, empty yeah time. exactly see that's what uh, but being able to have someone that you can talk to or that you can see because you don't have a storefront that someone goes into this is all right. done they call you and you talk to them that way right 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 the, okay i mean internet email today mm-hmm. you know the brick and mortar travel agency is not really necessary anymore because True, it's because right. of the internet and right. phones and emails and things like that that we don't have to sit down although i will sit down with you one-on-one and talk to you about your travel plans and what you want and all that um, now, do but you it's have really to go, not necessary. Do you have to go on the on a lot of these excursions so that when you can talk, you know, you can talk to of them intellectually? Uh, yeah, that you can talk to them intelligently about. <laughs> I would have what, to. Uh, what they're going to be experiencing? Of course, you know. I mean, travel <laughs> is. You want to, you know, if you're gonna uh, book travel, you want to talk to somebody that has experience in travel, right? right? Not right. So, uh, if I can say, oh, when you're in Grand Cayman. Th- you know, you have to swim with the stingrays. Or, uh, you know, if you are on your Alaska cruise, you have to do the glacier trek on Mendenhall Glacier. So, you know, you get that personal experience um, that I can pass on and say, you don't want to miss this. Well, do you have uh, videos that you probably need taken so that you can show people what it looks like? Uh-oh. Well, Ooh, broadcasting, I, 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 I broadcasting do, from the ship, that would be. I do have a video of me rappelling from a glacier and hanging Good upside grief. down. See, and that, now, that, could that, you, that then is the receipt that you really have been there. <laughs> no, my, exactly. my question is, I haven't been on an airplane since, I think, like 2000, 
2010 maybe or 2008. So what's it like traveling these days? Uh, air I, travel. Well, if I was asking, because I like I said, I, I everyone talks about you have to have clear bags. I'm like, why are you the yeah, clear yeah, yeah. bags? That's crazy. Yeah. But Changes every day. That's at the Super Bowl. Well, do you get questions like that too? Because yes, traveling you, is important, and like, or the bet. process of traveling is important. You mm-hmm. bet. So you know, you're my client. You haven't been on an airplane in a while. Then I'm going to advise you. Okay, liquids on your carry on less than three ounces. Uh, you know, when you go through security, you have to take out your laptop, take off your shoes, take off your jacket. You know, Man. because of the um, yeah. the tennis shoe bomber. Thank yes. goodness he wasn't uh, the underwear bomber. Yeah. That's right. So and it would be really bad. Because <laughs> like, the, the one time I've flown, the one time I've flown by myself, me being an idiot, I've, I always have a pocket knife on me. Oh, oh yeah. Lord. And I didn't even think about it. And then he's like, empty all your pockets into this bin. I'm like, okay, whoop. And then when I was when I was walking through my, you know, me smiling, having a great day, and all of a sudden, uh, sir, th- well, come back. A, no, three people with suits on came up to me and it's like, we need to speak to you. And I'm like, okay, what's oh, up? Like, we found we found this in the bin. I was like, oh, it was in my pocket. Oh, it's a knife. And I was like, oh, it's a pocket. Like it's like a little pocket knife that has my initials on it as yeah. a gift. And they're like, well, you can't take this on the airplane. I'm like, well, what do I need to do with it? And like, you, you can yeah. mail it to yourself. They even have a kiosk. Tell that me. you can <laughs> mail stuff like sweet. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah they, yeah. apparently this is a, a re- reoccurring problem, and well, you get I had it. to pay ten dollars to ship it to myself. And because uh, I actually, I even asked how much is the locker because is that cheaper? Because I'm only being gone for like three oh, days. Good point. Yeah, yeah. no, this and, is, that's I, I think that's important. But you know, couldn't keep too. it in You're a locker right. because the things we hear about all the changes, the baggage, and how they're you know mm-hmm. you can't take it oversized now, and uh, they're worried about all that. And I understand that going on an airplane trying to pack your stuff in and people come in with that big you know designer thing right. and try and stuff it in there and you can't get your stuff in that's legal size but i understand that but there's so many things that change every all the time that mm-hmm. you do get you're very intimidated about going to the airport so if you can ease mm-hmm. their mm-hmm. their worries about that and tell them here's what you like act, mark i think mark to needs to be mm-hmm. con- yes in. i need to be whatever. he just needs to be put out yeah. and, and put on one of those gurneys like that you uh, know when we Sons get back lambs. from these few words, uh, JJ will uh, answer that if she wishes. But I'm interested in the places that people are going the most and the best season to go. And, and the best deal right now today to call. Yeah. The North, and we definitely North Korea. don't leave here without your North web Korea. page. North <laughs> Korea. Russia. Uh, with this. Ladies and gentlemen, back in a minute with the Mark and Cindy show with JJ Kakadal in just a minute or two. It's primitive as can be. Hey y'all, Montgomery County Emergency Assistance is presenting their first annual Don't Mess with Texas Women Concealed Handgun class on Saturday, April 12th at the Conroe Shooting Center, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's limited to 30 participants. It's just $100 with all proceeds benefiting Montgomery County Emergency Assistance. Register online at mcea-tx.org. Bring your gun and let's have some fun. Don't mess with Texas Women Concealed Handgun Class, April 12, 2014, and all proceeds benefit Montgomery County Emergency Assistance. Hello, I'm Bonita DeRosa, Animal Control Officer for the City of Willis. We invite you to tune in to Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. for the Willis Hour. On the first Thursday of the month, the Willis Hour will be covering upcoming events and news about the city. Join in the conversation with your city officials and other leaders in the community. On the third, we will be doing a recap of the last city council meeting. The mission of the City of Willis is to provide high quality services, accountability, and professional commitment to our citizens. We pledge to provide those who live, work, and visit our city an effective government that is open and responsive to the needs and values of the community. Again, we invite you to tune in on Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 for the Willis Hour. Income tax time is here. If you earned less than $52,000 in 2013, Montgomery County United Way and Entergy Texas want you to know how to get your taxes prepared absolutely free. 
Beginning February 1st, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, known as VITA, will provide professionally trained volunteers to prepare your return in a way that is safe, free, and confidential. And they will help you see if you qualify for the Earned Income Tax Credit. That could mean up to $6,000 in your pocket and in our community. Montgomery County United Way improves lives of all our residents by mobilizing the caring power of our community. We want all our neighbors to have the opportunity to live healthy lifestyles, have access to education, and to improve your financial independence. This tax season, don't pay hundreds of dollars to have your taxes done. Locate a VITA site in Montgomery County by logging on to mcuw.org or find a site near where you live or work by calling 211. And please remember, give, advocate, and volunteer. Together, that is how we improve lives and live united. Love. I just wanted Sydney love throat. to happen. That's I just true. To hear love. That's okay. the love boat. You know, yes. I'm, I met good. him, Gavin McLeod. I met him. I have a picture with Gavin. And, oh. Uh, yeah. You know, it's I very remember nice. him more from He's a very nice man. Icon of cruise mm-hmm. ships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Princess I, cruise I liked him on Mary Tyler Moore show uh, mm-hmm. more. Yep. But, you know, uh, I would, there's so much stuff we could talk about in airports. I don't, uh, yeah, you got to wrestle with an airport unless you're going out of Galveston they're doing a bunch of stuff in Galveston now aren't yes, they to we, promote the cruise we are so fortunate right now because we have more and more cruise ships coming to Galveston and departing from the Port of Houston the new Port of Houston mm-hmm. so that's near Pasadena yes it is and and you know like right now um the crown uh the Caribbean princess is sailing from the Port of Houston mm-hmm. uh be there through April and then um full-time year-round we have the carnival magic sailing from galveston we've got now royal caribbean is now sailing year-round from galveston wow. which is awesome because yeah. they were just part of the year so mm-hmm. we've got the navigator with royal caribbean and we've got the carnival triumph sailing out of galveston year-round on the uh four and five night itinerary well the shows that they put on Oh my! And those word. crews yeah. are amazing because you really feel like mm-hmm. you're you're in Vegas and when you're watching them, and then they have a, a nights where they have the the people on the ship uh, do things. They have like a talent night, right? And yeah, yeah. They yeah, karaoke, karaoke, and, and all that. So they inter- they also uh, include the guests that are on the ship. They, yeah, the entertainment is amazing. Like on the Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas out of Galveston, you know. There's an ice skating rink on board. That, and so there's I'm ice sure skating. That. You can ice skate. And there's <laughs> no, ice, <I> ice shows <laughs> in the evening. So you can go see an ice show that's what? amazing. Can you imagine? I mean, I can't skate on ice on something still, let alone yeah. a moving ship. Come on. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, but. On, well, oh, yeah. I've been. Yeah. I, I've done it, but. But not on a ship. Or, well, on a ship, yeah. Oh, so the, good. But the only thing you got you got to know, and this is important. These details are important because if mm-hmm. I call you, I'm going to have so many detailed questions. Is mm-hmm. do, when do they zamboni the ice? Because what happens in these shows, they do so many shows, is you can actually feel the grooves Ooh. that they do their technique or do their show on. Yeah. And so you, basically, when I first day I got there, I love I love ice I like ice mm-hmm. hockey. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go check this out because it's, it's literally ten minutes away. It's like it's on the ship, and yeah. to get across the ship, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> yeah. like, it's really cool. So I was like, I was yeah. immediately down there, and I was talking to some of the people, and I, you could see they're, they just did a show, and you're like, hey, when do they, when uh, they Zamboni? Zamboni, Zamboni have you ever you been Zamboni asked? Zamboni that, how many times have you been asked, when do they Zamboni their uh, I've ice never rink? been asked really? that, is, uh, but I can find out. Well, it's important. <laughs> it's, uh, well, there's nothing like a fresh yeah, yes, yes. sheet of ice. Right, right. Fresh sheet of skinny. ice on a, on a Caribbean cruise. On a moving cruise. ship. <laughs> right, exactly. And, you know... The cruise lines are all about safety as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm sure there's some sort of standard with, that they know when to do that. Oh, and yeah. So the passengers will be safe and their guests will not mm-hmm. fall and break because of lack of No, 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 no. I have a question. Maintenance. My, my question. I, nausea. Oh, oh, thank you. What is it that you, um, <laughs> that you, that you tell people and prescribe to people uh, that are so worried about the feeling seasick? Well, most people have a phobia of that, and they've never been seasick in their life, or they've been on a little fishing boat and got mm-hmm. seasick. Yeah, you cool. have to realize that the ships are so large. They're like a floating city. So it's not like you're being on your fishing boat mm-hmm. out in the bay, okay? So you're, 
the ships have stabilizers that are um, that help with that motion. Um, if I know you have an issue with that, then I'm going to try to get your cabin more midship because that's where you feel the least amount of motion. Very good. So, good you right. know, forward on the ship is where you would not want to be because you're going to feel that pitch. I uh, mm-hmm. That's what I requested. Forward on the yeah, ship? Yeah, because I like it. It's like you like being, it. It's like yeah. being rocked to it sleep. Is. At night. I it's, love that. It's yeah. I love that. Yes. Oh, At night it is. That. But if you so told well. Mark, if you told Mark that, hey, Mark, uh, you're going on this ship. You're going on this cruise. You may feel a slight nausea. <laughs> You'd be in the nurse's I'm sick. Cabin. I'm right, right there. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. And not, you will be constipated. Loss. <gasps> no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Kay and I, we've been on two cruises. And there's a couple of things I want to comment. You mentioned the talent. I There are so many talented people in yes, this world. And there are a lot of them on cruise ships. They also, are. we were on this huge huge ship i know they're big but it had those stabilizers 40 mile an hour winds we were headed for nova scotia following a hurricane and Mm -hmm. i i mean you see the waves outside and i'm standing there and it's not whoa they've got magic things but see i think i'm like you because before we went on our first cruise and i'm uh i'm in the ship and i I start telling sam i'm I'm not gonna do i'm not gonna be do well with this i'm i'm feeling i am feeling the ship i am this is horrible Mm -hmm. and so i stopped one of the the guys walking by i said hey hey excuse me um do y'all have something take i'm i'm really feeling the ship moving (laughs) and and he goes man we haven't left the we haven't left (laughs) (laughs) and i went that's bad no 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 i'm I'm feeling that that sounds like cindy too it's (laughs) always that person they're like excuse me man you know in their mind like oh here we go i'm gonna be seeing a lot of her later Uh later there there is a full infirmary Yes, uh, they on do. every ship, uh, doctor on board, and so no, they don't, don't have around. any issues. My, have a, my cousin got sick, yeah. real sick, yeah. and they had to go when we ported. They had to bring a, another doctor on just to make sure. Oh and it, like she almost had to go go home. Like we almost had to wow. go the other way because they don't. They'll leave you. Like they don't. They won't take the ship back for one person. No, no, so, no. And well, and, and you know when you say that, you know this tells me that you know just as a reminder. That's why you need travel protection insurance mm-hmm. when you go on a trip. Ah. Because if you have to be left at a hospital out of the U.S., most people's insurance no, does not cover you out of the U.S. Point. If you have to be life flighted, tens of thousands of dollars out of your pocket if you don't have travel insurance. Oh, wow. And so, you know, for a <laughs> small amount of money to protect you while you're away because you don't you think i'm not going to get sick and i'm not going to get you know you don't know if you're going to fall and break your leg on an excursion sure and end up going to the hospital and your transportation back home and all that tell us mark that because he's going to fall and break his leg now (laughs) yeah right right right. this that's an excellent (laughs) point have you ever planned a an around the world trip for anybody anybody no but anybody that wants to please call me today (laughs) i am available (laughs) for you um, at any time Uh, by the way speaking of that in case i i I forget please give us your uh, over the uh radio here right now your website and your phone number oh my website is www.funcruises4u.com and that's the number four that's the number four for fun cruises the number four y-o-u.com phone number 281 292 do that in that accent one more time oh i don't have an accent 281-292-7022. 281-292-7022. And if you uh, forget that or can't remember, just call the station and uh, call us. It. We'll have Richard it. Richard has it. Facebook. Yeah, of course. It, we'll He's memorized it. it. Oh, and I'm yeah. on Facebook, too. Like me on Facebook. Uh, in the most like uh, remote like or weird or whatever uh, trip you've ever had to plan. Antarctica. Uh, I, mean, I know that's a, uh, wow, an well, out there question. Um, Willis. You yes. know, probably one of the most fun because I want to go to Africa myself. I had a uh, a dad and his two sons. They wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and and uh, do a safari. And so wow. he called and said, hey, do you do that? I was like, sure, you know. <laughs> and so let me figure this out. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I'm doing, I do all the research and take all the time that it would normally take you, the client, to, you know. So I cut through all that, find the best possible uh, vacation experience, depending on what you want. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, and so it was, it was a great trip, unfortunately the um the airlines lost his luggage and they were going to climb mount kilimanjaro first um and he had 
no clothes and they they could not they They couldn't climb with the clothes that they had it wasn't Mm. warm enough so for three days you know he had a day to get acclimated we i got with the vendor we're looking for the luggage so i reversed his itinerary so he did his safari first Uh, while we looked for the luggage they found the luggage the last day before he was supposed to climb I had them curry his luggage to the bush at no expense to my client. So he had his clothes, wow. his equipment, everything ready, and him and his sons did climb Mount Kilimanjaro and made it to the top. Wow. I love a happy That is so yes, happy. You know, it was you, awesome. That. It was you awesome. Can go on a safari. In fact, they recommend in boxer underwear. Uh, so he was okay <laughs> there. But that other stuff is tough. <laughs> that equipment, though. Uh, yeah, you're exactly right. But, you know, right. I mean, it's that's just what what – I do. Oh, you know, that's fun. what a travel agent does. So when you are have issues or you got problems or you need things, you know, I mean, it's the time difference between Africa and us. You know, right. I'm up in the middle Ooh, of the no night kidding. making that happen, making this happen Whoa. for him. So you know, I imagine. And if you booked online, really, really, yeah, right. Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Who are you call? That's right. Yeah. I imagine the gratification you get from clients after they've gone on these trips and they call you and say, JJ. Wonderful. Yes. We love you. Yes. I imagine that's got to be a part oh, of the job as well. Oh, I but, love that. I yeah. love that. I love making people happy. Makes do me you happy. get this? Hey, uh, JJ, I need, I can, uh, can you give me a half off thing? Uh, do you get that much? <laughs> Let me ask you, you the this. Best deal. Handicapped oh. people, are people, yes. I don't know if we use that word. Anymore. Special needs. Uh, special, thank you, needs yeah. people. Uh, wheelchair, yes, whatever. Yes, wheelchair accessible. All the, uh, the cruise, the cruise lines are all, uh, Wheelchair accessible. There's cabins wheelchair accessible. Uh, the public areas are as well. They even have lifts uh, for the pools and the hot tubs. Oh, yeah. Yes. There you go. So everyone um, is taken care of and thought of. And yes. But the person that uh, we need to make sure we know is very accessible is JJ. And That's you true. need to call <laughs> her and, and talk to her. And this is the time. The sun's out today, so you start thinking, oh, it would be fun to have a, you know, to go on a cruise and, mm-hmm. and the weather's so nice. So we want to, we want to go do something that's where it's warm and uh, tropical and wherever it is that you need to call JJ. JJ, thank you so much for being on thank the show. Thank you guys for JJ's. having me. I so appreciate it. So right where you are, we're going to do, a, uh, when we get back from this break, we're going to be doing a uh, inspirational, encouraging word from from Mark, and there's nothing like an encouraging word from Mark. It'll yes. just it'll make your day. I've been yeah, encouraged exactly. by Mark many times. Uh, we will be we will be uh, right back after these uh, messages, and uh, don't go away because we have more love for you from the love boat. Yes, here we go. Life's sweetest. Good morning, and welcome to the Lone Star Weekly Business Hour. Since the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo awarded its first scholarship, we have sent nearly 15,000 students to college on show scholarships. Just this year, 2,000 students are attending more than 100 Texas colleges and universities on show scholarships worth nearly $30 million. Combined with the junior market auction money, livestock and horse show premiums and prizes, cat scramble awards, school art auction money, judging contest prizes, grants to universities, and funds to cultural, community, and civic organizations, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo has committed more than $350 million to youth and education throughout Texas. Learn more at RodeoHouston.com. Hello, this is Dennis Nelson, inviting you to come with me through the doorway of imagination and into the theater of the mind. The Players Theater Company Old Time Radio Hour presents a play every Saturday night at 7 p.m. on Lone Star Internet Radio. Be it drama or comedy, thriller or love story, every exciting episode is carefully chosen straight from the golden age of radio and performed live by talented actors, musicians, and sound effects crew. Every sound you hear will be 100% live and homemade. Anything can happen. 
So join us, please, every Saturday night at 7 p.m. for the Players Theater Company Old Time Radio Hour, right here on Lone Star Internet Radio. At Jazzy Junk, volunteers reclaim, restore, and recycle. Jazzy Junk is a nonprofit resale storefront where you will discover wonderful, unique finds at very affordable prices on furniture, antiques, books, art, home decor, and more. When you shop Jazzy Junk, you support New Danville, a community for adults with developmental disabilities. We receive new donations daily, so plan a visit to Jazzy Junk today to find that perfect item or gift. Our motto is here today, gone today. So remember to hurry in and shop often for the best selection. Jazzy Junk is located in the outlets at Conroe on League Line Road and I-45 North. Call 936-441-4500 or visit our website jazzyjunk.org that's J-U-N-Q-U-E for more information and store hours. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The Bark and Cindy breath. Show. Again, See, she took a breath, so I jumped right that's in. That's right. I there. can't even do that. I just wanted to hear his voice just a little bit more. But um, <laughs> that's right. You are listening to the Mark and Cindy Show, and we've uh, been listening to J.J. Kuykendall talk about uh, what's the best way to go on a cruise, and uh, she takes care of everything for you. And so if you missed that part of it, we are ar- archived every day, and you can go to soundcloud.com uh type in the mark and cindy show and you'll see all of our shows and then go to what uh, date you uh, would like to go to and of course you want to go to the march march 6th show because that's when JJ's the alamo on there and, yeah. and also in, in honor of the alamo falling but jj's on that show and uh, you can learn all about uh the best way to travel and also we're on youtube we uh we cool. have the so you can see what's going on here, what I've been eating, and what Mark looks like, and what wow. he's wearing today. So um, anyway, we we now this segment we're going to let JJ sit through this with us to to hear Mark um, pontificate oh, on the pontification all the, uh, is should I move back? Yeah, <laughs> yes, we move away to. from him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, for our encouraging word, Mark does a great job. Well, on you're that. too sweet. By the way, you can also call two eight one. 292-7022 and talk to Cindy in the flesh. It's uh, Cindy or that's JJ. JJ. You can't get, you can <laughs> forget it. See, I'm, yeah. You know, one you thing about numbers. these deals, like we had uh, Jim Walker here and he was talking mm-hmm. about the Battle of Goliad. I could have talked to the guy forever. JJ I here. Know it. The stuff uh, I want to know about uh, uh, where she's been and all would be interesting. But, you know, Cindy, uh, how. Uh, this is a transition that is not yeah, there. Yeah, it's called transition. Occasionally when you read uh, the Bible or devotionals or whatever it is uh, you do, it, at times I go in there with, uh, uh, I've got a special place in the, the downstairs uh, bedroom where I, I read the Bible. And like today, I went in there with, I felt so remote, like, I don't know, like a phony or whatever. I'm in there and I'm thinking... You know, does I, I, God? I have no, you know, mission. I have got nothing to think about here. In fact, I'm not even sure you're here. Doubts in all of these things. Mark. There are moments in people's lives, I believe, uh, if you're normal, that it, it's it's kind of like a, a child with mom. I came from a family of seven, and there were times when I just sit around and you know look at the family. Mom doesn't even know I'm here. I don't. Does she even Aww. like me or something? That Those, started way back then. Yes. Oh, yeah, from ever. Anyway, it's those things. It's the sense of, wow, what's happening, or do I have anything? And so I open up this, uh, uh, the Bible first, uh, uh, devotional, and I read stuff that uh, is just moving to me. Here's one. Uh, when you feel no direction, uh, you feel out of, of sorts with God, it takes God's grace to take the next step when there is no vision from God, no enthusiasm. That's what I... I had no enthusiasm, and after a while I think, you know, I'm, am I reading this for me or am I reading it so I have something to say on the, the radio show? And I never want to do that because each of us need to have a personal sense 
uh, of God, apart from, oh, I need to tell somebody something. I need to tell Mark something. And then I opened this uh, up, this other book, and it said this. Listen to this, and you may have heard it. It may be from a song. I don't know. I believe in the sun, even if it isn't shining. I believe in love, uh, even when I'm alone. And I believe in God, even when he is silent. Uh, that is what you call your proverbial faith. And that's what faith is. You know, yesterday I might have scared somebody by saying, I do not know for sure. I don't know anything for sure because I see in a mirror dimly about mm-hmm. God. Can you pr- prove Jesus is there? Or that? No, my heart tells me it is, but I cannot prove. And God gave a blessing for every one of us who's just like that. He said this when Thomas when uh, Christ came back, uh, you know, rose from the grave and all, and Thomas said, until I, you know, see his hands, Thomas went in there and said, oh my goodness, let, there, let me feel, this is Christ, it's you. And Jesus said this, and he might as well have mentioned my name. He said, blessed are you, Thomas, you believe because you see me. Blessed is Mark, because mm-hmm. even though he never saw me, he believes. That's right. That, I like to put my name in stuff because it just makes me, that a special blessing right out of Christ's mouth. That's, that's me. And, and, Things like that help me during the times when I think, God, I have no sense of what I'm supposed to do or where it is. And all he's telling me is, hey, you know, I'm here. Uh, and, and you need to realize that, Mark, and keep that in mind and just keep going. It's not like I'm the greatest parent in the world. Your mom, she thought of you. She prayed for you every day. But, yes, I think of you more than your, your mom ever did. I believe that God holds Mark in his hand <laughs> because he needs, he needs to he needs some I comforting. I need constant holding, and he's, yes. And he's doing this. Yes. Mark, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And Mark just hadn't, sometimes he doesn't feel it, mm-hmm. and he feels like uh He's not there, but that's how I believe that God, God does with you, Mark, because you do need you do need that reassurance, and that's fine. Just like a kid needs reassurance, we don't mind as a parent reassuring them and giving them that that love and that that feeling of look, it's okay. I love you, mm-hmm. and you may be feeling a little insecure right now, but if you'll just turn around, and look back, who's holding you? You're okay. That's that's mm-hmm. and, and, and like I, I've said before, and we've got to leave here. But I, no. I came from a background which is. Uh, all I heard was negative things, and God was scary and all, and now I'm but learning not how much anymore. he loves us, yeah. and that helps. And it's a beautiful day. He gave us it a beautiful is. day, yeah. so go out yeah. and have a good time and enjoy yourself. But uh, help somebody else have a good time and feel good about themselves. Tell them you love them because God loves you more than we could ever love you. He does, and God's got this. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. JJ, you're thank great. You, Mark. Thanks, Thanks you. Richard. Okay, we will see you. Have a great weekend and go to church. Your mama wants you to church. And on the radio, 10 to 11 a.m. Well, it's Mark and Cindy. Hey, everyone, this is Tina, your host from Retro Saturdays. I wanted to invite you to visit the Lone Star Studios here in downtown Conroe, Texas. We're all volunteers here, and we need your help in serving the Montgomery County area. Radio Media is a fun field to be in. Lone Star Internet Radio serves Montgomery County with news, current events, local programming, and of course, music. If you are interested in volunteering and sharing your talents in media, go to IRLoneStar.com and let us hear from you. Lone Star Internet Radio, serving Montgomery County from the heart of downtown Conroe.